Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to protect your knots. We're talking about line to line knots here. Seen a lot of uh, comments on, on knot videos, talking about knots either unraveling, casting lures off, and almost always it's due to one thing. And it's one thing that is completely controllable and it's easy to not do it. So the one thing is just, is just reeling the knots up through your guides before making a cast. So if you're casting, if you're reeling this knot, this is an FG knot, so it's a, even a really thin FG knot like this, you can hopefully see it, um, it's the, on the side to the lure. When you're making a cast, this knot is just flying through the rod guides and every time it hits, that's just more and more friction on this very first part of it. And, and this is the same with all knots, uh, even real thin ones like this. So the more times you do it, obviously you do it once or twice or even 15 times, it's not a big deal. But if you're out there making 50 to 100 casts in a day, over time, that's gonna wear down your knot, uh, no matter, again, no matter what kind it is, you're gonna wear it down. So when fishing, artificial lures, I highly recommend doing a little bit shorter leader. Um, in this case, I, I like to do uh, anywhere from about 18 inches to 28 inches, and, uh, and just have it at a length where you're comfortable casting without reeling the, uh, the knot all the way in. You can see here, here's the knot, here's where I typically cast. I like to have about three to four inches of, uh, of braid in between the rod tip and the knot. Um, so get your lure, uh, get your leader at a, at a length that is, uh, is comfortable to you. Make sure it's at least 18 inches just so that the fish can't see the line as well. But, uh, but I just that will, that will significantly increase the, uh, the, the amount of time that, that, your, uh, that your line stays at its maximum strength. All right, so here's what you should not do. Uh, so before a cast, here's what it should not look like. Uh, you can see here the leader is going up through the rod tips. Uh, the knot is now sitting here, so if I did cast at this point, it's not going to hit just one guide, it's going to hit one, two, three guides. That's three impacts that it has on one single cast. Again, it won't, it won't weaken the line right away, but over time it'll wear it, it'll wear it down longer and longer and longer, and eventually it could completely unravel. Uh, worst case, but uh, another worst case is that when you're fighting a big fish, it would be the, the weakest point in the system and that will, you know, you'll lose the biggest fish of the day. The only time I ever cast my knot through guides is if I'm skipping lures. Because when skipping, you need a little bit more accuracy. So I do do this on skipping, but I don't skip that often. Any, almost 99% of the time when I'm casting, I have this, you know, this three inches of gap here. And uh, again, plenty of room to, to make a good accurate cast. And, uh, and best of all, it's not going to be weakening this very, very important knot. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. More importantly, if you haven't subscribed to our website, saltstrong.com, be sure to do that because we have a, just a weekly newsletter that has a ton of good tips, a lot of fun videos, and fishing reports, so we know you're going to enjoy it. So thanks again for watching. See you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today